<coughs> Hello, matriculants, students who are breathing their metric, um, geography teachers, and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Today, we're going to be discussing a coastal low pressure. As you can see, I think you're also familiar with this, with this L inside the circle. Yeah, this is the coastal low pressure. If you see this L in a similar typical weather maps, you should know um, along the coastal area, you should know it's a coastal low pressure. Eh? Yeah. So um, we're going to be discussing how does this coastal low pressure form? How does it okay? How does it move from west to east? And so on. All right, yeah, let's get to the topic. It's going to be quick and fast. Okay, yeah. So, I think you, you know the difference between onshore winds and offshore winds. I think you know. Okay, let me tell you. Let me start with on onshore winds. The onshore winds, let me start with them. Let me start with, with onshore these are onshore, onshore winds, okay, and we have off, offshore winds, yeah, you have to understand that, and you have to understand a clockwise movement, the clockwise movement, uh, clockwise, I can say clockwise, clockwise movement, and what else? Um, yeah, that's the things that you should understand. But I think you know those things, okay? But I'm just explaining deeper, yeah, so that it can create a deeper understanding for you guys, okay? The onshore winds are winds that blow from the oceans or sea to the land. That means from the ocean to the land or from the ocean to the land. Those are onshore winds, which are also known as sea breeze. Those are the onshore winds, onshore winds. Then we have offshore winds. The offshore winds are the winds that blow from the land to the ocean. Let me repeat, offshore winds are the winds that blow from the land to the ocean, from the land to the ocean. They blow from the land to the ocean. So, the very first step, the offshore winds in the west side of South Africa, let me say in Western Cape or in Northern Cape, around. But, um, you know, they are closer to the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, or the cold Bengala current, I can say. So, you know, every time, every time, um, if it's warmer, even today, um, let's say today, let's talk about today in a real life situation. Let's say today it's 22 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, let's say it's 22 degrees Celsius in the land. But as much as you go into the coastal areas or in the coast, like right into the sea, the, temp the, the temperature um, decreases, you know? Yeah, the temperature decreases. If it's, if it's 22 here or 23 in the land, in the ocean, you might find it, it's like 19, 17, you know? Yeah. So this means that always the air in the interior of South Africa is always warmer than the air in the coastal area or in the coast, you know, or in the sea or ocean. Yes. So the air in the interior of South Africa blows into the ocean. These are the offshore winds. These are the offshore winds. These are the off 
of show wins. Okay? Then the offshore winds, when they meet other winds in the oceans, you can say in the oceans it's like misty and cloudy and so on. We got some water droplets, as you can see, like in the ocean, like far, far in the ocean, like in the interior of the ocean. As these winds enter the interior of the uh, Atlantic Ocean, of the cold Bengala current, I can say. Also, yeah. So, these winds, that means they blow from the land of South Africa into the ocean, to the cold Bengal current. So, this means that the temperature of these winds are warmer than these winds that are already here in the sea, causing the wind in the sea to form more water droplets, um, to form like cloudy, um droplets you know yeah so as much as you understand these winds are going to also push the winds that are here forcing them to move in a clockwise direction this will happen these winds are going to also cause a clockwise ah this is anti-clockwise a clockwise direction they will cause a, a clockwise direction they will cause a clockwise direction they will cause a, a clockwise direction as i already told you there yeah so as these winds will cause a clockwise direction a coastal low will form in the west part of south africa in the west coast and this coastal low is not going to be or is not going to be stable like here in this position it's going to move in there along the coast so we're going to also find it here it's going to move it's moving in in a clockwise direction why i'm also i'm always drawing anti-clockwise in a clockwise direction it will move in a clockwise direction we also find it here it will move in clockwise direction in a clockwise direction in a clockwise direction this cost a low pressure in a clockwise direction along the coast you can see it moves along along the coast see low pressure low coastal low pressure you can see along the coast i'm just i'm just creating a deeper understanding for you guys that's why i am explaining this much i want to make it sure because i know we're going to forget this during exams so I don't want any kind of mistakes for you to forget or the chances for you to forget my information. You know, that's why I'm always emphasizing things and repeating them so that you can know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can see, you can also see the movement. They move from this coastal low from west to east. The coastal low move from west to to east. So the coastal low move from west to east, as you can see. Yes. So you can see and you know the coastal areas here in South Africa. This is Cape Town. Cape Town is going to be affected by this coastal low pressure here. Uh, Cape Town, Cape Town is going to be affected, and we also have um, your your East London. Your East London is going to be affected. Your East London, your Deben is going to be affected. Your Richards Bay, Richards Bay, 
yeah, Richards Bay is going to be affected by these um, by this coastal low pressure yeah so this coastal low pressure is going to bring um, drizzling um, like some sort of rains you know yeah some frontal rain and so on. you know yeah 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 yes 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 so yeah basically it's like that yeah take it like this and so on but in your um, synoptic weather map you will always found you always find your your coastal low here uh, let me use the different one you'll always find it here let me use the right one you'll always find it here the coastal low pressure this one is going to be represented by this one the other ones will not be there yeah you should know how this uh, low pressure coastal low pressure ended up being here it started there from the ocean on sh offshore winds blown to the ocean causing a clockwise movement of air between the ocean air and also the land air you know yeah causing to form some sort of clouds some drizzling uh, weather conditions and this starts to move and this coastal low pressure starts to move from west to east in a clockwise direction until the east coast of south africa which is warmer than the current yeah as you can see but they will use this one mostly yes um yes so guys basically i have to write some notes for you so that you can have something to write you know yeah okay in terms of the season uh this coastal low pressure okay okay this coastal low pressure can okay in in winter and some in winter and some in winter and summer the other thing that you should know um the offshore winds the offshore winds blow to to the ocean to the west ocean i can say to the okay to the ocean you know it's the old west ocean yeah as you can see it's the west ocean so offshore winds blow to the ocean causing warmer causing warm Warmer conditions. In the sea. In the ocean, I can say. Causing warmer conditions in the oceans. You know, as I already told you that, always um, the air that is from the land is always warmer than the air in the ocean. You know, yeah. So by bringing this warmer condition in the ocean, some water droplets will fall in the ocean high amount of, of, of water droplets causing the clouds and the clockwise movement and it starts to move from um, this will lead to formation to formation of clouds this lead to formation of of clouds and more water droplets and more water droplets and more water droplets resulting in in rain fall in the coastal i can say in the coastal places or in the coastline of south africa in the coastal the coastal 
regions in South Africa. Because I think rainfall in the coastal regions in South Africa. Um, yeah, and also drizzling in terms of where they can drizzle. Drizzling conditions. Conditions. Yeah. Yes, you know the coastal regions are your Cape Town, East London, Deben, and Richards Bay. Yeah, it's, those are the coastal regions that are mostly affected or that got affected by these by this coastal low pressure system yes thank you guys and please don't forget to like my video subscribe guys and comment and share the video to your friends thank you there's something i forgot here to tell you but i didn't forget i told you they move from west to east but to right from my for from your notes guys um coastal low this coastal low move from west to east in in a in a clock wise direction yes so this coastal low moved from west to east in a in a clockwise direction as you can see it forms along the west coast of south africa along cape town in the northern cape and it starts to move and hit cape town and affect um east london Deben, and and richards bay yes